This madness must stop. Allow Nigerians go about their business. Biafran group tell Buari. Biafran Nations Youth League, BNYL, on Sunday called on President Muhammad Buhari to allow Nigerians engage in their normal businesses. In a statement by the BNYL, the group said the government cannot cage its citizens because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Why many are already dying of hunger. The group said there are other sicknesses that have killed dozens of people, adding that there is no reason why every attention will be on COVID-19. The statement signed by the deputy leader of BNYL and head of operations, Biafran Broadcasting Service, BBS Media, Ebuta Takon Eko reads, I feel people are already dying of hunger and some hospitals are no longer attending to other sick patients. Even people are now afraid to go to hospital for treatment to avoid testing positive. It seems they want every state on lockdown to record cases of the virus. This madness should stop. They should relax the lockdown and allow everybody to go about their normal businesses. Nigeria is the only African country that is treating COVID-19 perfectly. Although the president said it has no cure, but Nigerian hospitals have decided to prove him wrong by discharging COVID-19 patients. Governors that tested positive have recovered. Some recovered on their own. I heard a governor saying he ate enough Amala while in isolation. Since the cure is here, why suffering the masses? Thank you for listening to this news. Well, our viewers... Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised anyway. But then, I will say that uh, many Nigerians are still very, very ignorant. Uh, you know, you know that can anything good ever come out from Nigerian government? If I may ask, can anything good at least ever come out of Nigerian government? All this here in Niger is a scam. I'm telling you all the truth. They are all scam. Nothing good can ever come out of Nigeria. They are just deceiving us. Are you getting it? They are just deceiving us. You see, um, as per what is uh, what we ju- what we've just heard now. It might be true anyway, because um, we don't have a particular medication. We can really say we can cure this COVID-419. Because what we do in these isolation centers is when the people are brought in, we just oxygenate them, at least help them breathe, and after some time, we notice they are healed by themselves and discharged them. That was what the Minister of Health, Health's words reads that very day on um, on national TV. You know, because I watched it and I was not, I was not told I watched it. It is then obvious that it's the hand of the Lord that is rocking this miracle of healing by himself. You see, so those that are saying that he got the healing automatically without any medication, it is the hand of God. It is the mercy of God, you see, that is doing that, that is doing that miracle. 
you understand so it's not man it's not by your power so whenever you experience such thing you know that it is the mercy of god do you know how many christians how many churches that have engaged on serious fasting and prayer some even engage on on dry fast because of this cool issue she said you know, so i would say that god is hearing our prayers he's gradually hearing our prayers and he's releasing his, his mercy and healing upon the affected people so it is god and not and not man it is god and not by your power you know so the uh, the main uh, i will say that the federal government should look into this and try to see reason why um the the masses should be released to go about their businesses because it has really affected them we are now we are crying of people dying of covid-19 don't we know that people can equally die of hunger how do we know that people have not even started dying of hunger yes we we can't know some of these dead people that we just recorded as cases some of them might have even died as a result of hunger and we and we take them as uh, as dead as uh, covid-19 infected uh, cases yes now that that is that is the truth so nigerians should try to know that they can try to see reason why the people should be given opportunity to go back to work you see i want to table and uh, talk about the the salary earners this uh, most of the salary earners they are really facing it they are really 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 facing it and it has not been easy for them at all it has not been easy for them you know that is their only means of livelihood they get paid they don't have a business of their own so now that they have asked everyone to lock them, to go indoor what do they expect them to do where do they expect them to go she see that now the challenge is becoming too much on on them on daily basics each day you know is uh, for the ones that have children each day you know they suppose to feed their children what do they expect the children to eat you see that so we should see the federal government should see reason why this rubbish have to stop is is actually rubbish in fact they have to stop they have to come to an end we must not condole it we must not accept it any longer the first two weeks is gone there should be no reason for any extension we have seen that for now this thing have no cure so let us allow everybody to go back on the streets and hustle many people may have been dying for other sicknesses and not covid-19 and we start recording it as covid-19 cases let us see reason with with what the biafran youth have just said they have the, their point there and that is the truth let us free people from this from this hardship from this critical time because this is becoming too much we cannot continue like this we can't continue like this so my viewers i think with what the bnyl have just said i think there is a very big point in it no most people are not dying of covid-19 some of them are dying of malaria and some other sicknesses and we record them as covid-19 cases so why we are why they are still making such of this vaccine now the nigerian government should should make sure allow the nigerians the masses to go out 
and walk so that they can bounce back and start meeting up with the needs of their family since the federal government cannot be able to meet up with their needs or even keep to their promise as Elias said so um, this is my little opinion i don't know of yours please don't forget to leave them behind click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates thank you